I'm here today in the train station in Oberkorn, Luxembourg to talk about the difference between ethics as we meet it in philosophy and ethics in the way that you're probably used to hearing the term. So you're probably used to hearing the word ethics to mean a series of rules or even sometimes laws that people should follow to stay out of trouble. That's not what we mean in philosophy. And so to give you an idea of what we do mean in philosophy, I want to talk about four characteristics that ethical claims or ethical issues have that differentiate ethics in the philosophical sense from ethics in the legal sense. Okay, so one, one thing that's true about ethics in the philosophical sense is that both sides, if there are two, and usually there are at least two, there could be three or more, have to be reasonable. So it's not an ethical question to ask, is it morally acceptable to throw an innocent person in front of an oncoming train? Another aspect to, to ethics in the philosophical sense is that more facts can help you make a decision but won't actually answer the question for you. So one thing that's different about the trains and buses in Luxembourg than the trains and um, buses in the United States is that you can get on without having to show that you have a ticket. So you might wonder, would it be ethical for me to ride the train in Luxembourg without actually buying a ticket? Now, you could ask for more information, like what are the odds are that I'm going to get caught doing this? or someone out of a job for this or is is the Luxembourg train company about to go bankrupt and I should be supporting them but notice that all the answers to those questions don't tell you whether or not you should ride the train only if you've bought a ticket that's just more information to help you make a decision unlike let's say buying a car right you can keep getting more information and at a certain point you, you know which car you should buy on the basis of the information one of the other differences about between ethics um, and other disciplines is that in philosophy we're not so concerned about what's legal. So for example, it's against the law to cross the train tracks. Uh, but if, if I saw someone on the other side who needed my help, I think I would have a moral obligation to run across the tracks to help her. So it would be illegal. I could, I think, get a ticket, but it wouldn't be immoral. In fact, I, I would say I have a moral obligation to cross the train tracks to help someone. Another clue that you're talking about ethics in the philosophical sense is that words like ought or ought not, should or should not, are being used. It doesn't, however, mean that just because those words are being used that it is an ethical question. For example, down there on the ground, you see the uh, white tiles there. Those are warning you not to stand any closer than that because you might get hit by an oncoming train. So you ought not to stand past those white tiles. But it's not a moral ought, it's a prudential ought. If you stand closer to the tracks than those white tiles, you might get hit by the train, but that wouldn't make you an immoral person, that would just make you someone in the hospital. Okay, so those are four differences between ethics in the philosophical sense and ethics in other senses. Don't worry too much about memorizing all four of those or being able to categorize every situation as either legal or ethical or scientific. The most important thing is to realize that in philosophy, ethics is more of a process than a problem to be solved. So we're trying to look at, okay, if this is something I ought to do or ought not to do, why? Why is it that I should or shouldn't do that? The facts won't tell me.